healthy as he was, he should be pretty hot. It wasn't a real easy shot. I was gonna have a small window to shoot from. Hi, I'm Guy Eastman, and this is Eastman's Hunting TV. On today's episode, we're heading to Southern Colorado for the peak of the elk rut. This is one of my favorite hunts each year. We're hunting with our 2019 hunt winner, Tom Rapay. Now, Tom won this hunt as we drew his name out of the hat of our subscriber base, and his son is coming along to enjoy the hunt with him. So this is gonna be a lot of excitement, a father-son hunt in the peak of the elk rut, in Southern Colorado. Let's not waste any time. Let's get out there with Officer Rapay as he hunts for a big trophy bull elk. I've been a subscriber to Eastman's for about 20 years now, if not longer, and I have uh, most of those magazines. <laughs> I've, put, I've put them in the crates and, and held on to them. So I just feel blessed to have this opportunity and um, to be part of, of this. I beg and pleaded our uh, sponsors to give you some stuff. Hey guys. Yeti uh, came through with one of their new loadout boxes. Sitka came through with a set of clothing. Outdoor Edge came out, got one of our razor light knives and then sick, maybe a pair of binos. Um, there's also a backpack back at the uh, house from Everly Stock for you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, appreciate that. The final thing yeah. is Savage donated a gun. So there's a 300 wind mag that I'll ship you. Oh, it's that's... in the back seat, I'll let you see it. But... That's awesome. <laughs> wow. I have to ship it to you because of the FFL. Congratulations again. Beyond my dreams, that's for sure. This is, uh, this is gonna be a blast. Well, I just appreciate the opportunity. Appreciate what you guys do for the industry. And you know, this is just beyond my dream. So it's, uh, it's great. Well, appreciate that. Thank you. I have five boys. Uh, they've all spent time in the woods and having Adam along on this hunt has been uh, just awesome. We'll remember this for the rest of our lives. Guy Eastman here. This week, I'm hunting elk with Tom Rapay, our 2019 Eastman's Bow Hunting Journal hunt winner. The elk action hasn't disappointed, so let's get back at it. Oh, 
Marjorie Payne. Tom quickly passes on a bull that we called to within archery range, but it doesn't take long to turn up more elk. That bull got some potential. That one with all the cows, you see him? What a difference a day makes. Last night was a little lackluster and this morning was a totally different story. It's amazing, they just kind of stick together in groups and there's a lot of these drainages don't have any elk and then you hit one like this one we just had where there's you know two or three herds in there and six or seven bulls just tearing it up, going crazy, glunking. So hopefully tonight is uh, more of the same. I have a feeling we'll be Back in Martinez looking for that big wide six point we saw yesterday. We'll give it a shot. here with Tom Rapay from Lebanon, Oregon. He's our 2019 EBJ hunt winner. We've seen some pretty good bulls in one particular spot. Last night we were on a couple of them and, and just when they zigged when we zagged and it didn't quite work. But we're gonna get, uh, get back in there tonight and hopefully, you know, this wind lays down a little bit and, uh, and they're back at it. So we're gonna give her another try this afternoon. It's been been bluebird skies and real nice weather. We're working toward the first week of October, so the bulls are, are still seem to be rutting pretty hard. It's kind of been a late rut down here, so it's been that's been good yeah. in our favor. So we're gonna uh, give her another try this evening and get in our ambush spot.
everything you could imagine, you know, from a hunter's perspective, enjoying the outdoors. We saw 180 inch mule deer last couple days. We've seen, you know, 400 pound uh, chocolate, healthy black bear. You know, we've, we've just kind of seen it all. I, I had no idea what I was shooting, except I knew it was a big bull. It wasn't a real easy shot. I was gonna have a small window to shoot from, concentrating on getting a good rest. My son, Adam, helped me with that. He was putting pressure against my back because of the angle I was shooting at. Is he cool? Good job. Is That's he cool? a cool bull. He's really wide. Duncan, well, he, oh, yeah, he does some. His back point goes down. It almost looks like a dropper from the front. Yeah, when it's he's weird. faced us, it goes dips way down. I think it's main beam, but it looks Dude. like it drops down. He's too cool. Is he? I'm like, he uh, dumped I'm, it. Oh, just, oh yeah. Boom. He's just. <laughs> I'm, getting me, this I'm getting this 338. That's awesome. <laughs> That's not the coolest bull. Look at his bases. <laughs> what do you think, Tom? Oh, man. <laughs> I bet that thing's got 10 or 11 points. Well, more than, I mean, total, probably 15 points. Thank Congratulations. You Congratulations, <laughs> brother. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, man. Nice work on the, on the backup. Appreciate it. Ooh, How it. wide is that thing? I mean, that's broke. That's a point there. There's a point here. Guy, look at this third. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen points. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the thing looks like prehistoric. He, he does, like something that stepped out of time. Capping it off with the awesome bull, it, it, it's surreal. So I'm pinching myself. You know, it's just one of those things that you dream about coming to fruition like this is uh, pretty awesome. Well, here we are with our 2019 EBJ hunt winner, Tom Rapay from Lebanon, Oregon, and a really freaky, nasty bull. Uh, this one sets a record for, for gnarly bulls for any of the hunt winners. We've done probably 50 hunt winners with bucks and bulls, and this one takes the cake for sure. He's a really, really old bull. We're thinking he's 12, 14 years old. You know, his spread, he's well over 50 inches, maybe pushing 55 inches with that cheater hanging out there. And we counted 17 points on him, but just a nasty old bull living in this hole. Nobody's ever seen him before. But hopefully you had a good time down here chasing these bulls. Well, we hope you enjoyed uh, today's show. We had a great time out here in Southern Colorado hunting these big, gnarly, rutting bulls. Until next time, remember, fair chase is the only way to hunt and take trophy big game. We'll see you next week right here on Eastman's Hunting TV.